Alright, so let's see what we can find here. There's- I'm s I don't know. I'm sorry that this session is side quests. This is basically all going to be side quests. We're like three hours in. I'm sure you know this by now. But I want to get everything done. I want to go check every single little thing. And then we'll go beat up Inominat. I'm sure- I'm pretty sure most people want me to anyway. So... Another day without a wild penguin sighting. How are things looking at the penguin farm? Not good. They're still listless. I tried changing their feed, but they barely touched it. With the weather what it is, the sea temperature has gone down. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe so. I've been pulling up different fish around here lately too. And get this, I found a Kraken Queen in my nets the other day. Normally you only find them in the northern oceans. Kraken Queen? If this keeps up, Isalt's fishing industry is in dire peril. We've got to do something about this. Fishermen and penguin farmers. We should all get together and have a meeting to figure out what to do. By the way, you get smacked about by that Kraken Queen? Oh yeah. Those long whip-like tentacles did a number on me. I loved every moment of it. Oh man, lucky. I should take the boat out tomorrow, see if I can catch one. I still don't get it. But, as long as they're having fun. You know what, Laffy? You don't need to get it. Don't worry about it. Take a look at this. Alright, so, got that. No globe big. of growth. What a treasure. Kresnik Island. Zillia 2. Got devil wings. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. Did I get the thing from... No, I didn't get the thing from Century Isle. Oh, I forgot. I basically... Bazonga Veggie Bagna... How, did I not notice that? <laughs> Alright, that's great. Um, Snow Globe of Growth. I don't think I got the thing from here. An island ruled by cats. Good. <laughs> that makes sense. Its inhabitants love everything pink, which has led some to call it the pinkest isle. <laughs> oh man. Good. I'm guessing Elise took over that island. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm going to send this over here once, because I didn't get the treasure. Um, but I did want to check out the treasure we just got. Jesus. Oh man. So you guys can read that if you want to. I'm not really planning on reading all those. But yeah. Go ahead and pause if you need to. So next up, we need to go to... We have to go to the Sanctuary, we have to go to the Tavern, we have to go to the Inn. The Inn is right next to us, so we should probably go in there. <laughs> I wish to talk to you. No, not you. Do I have to go right here? Yes. Hey, have you heard the rumors? People are saying there's a talking penguin around! I didn't know Pengyons could talk. It's true. Three people have already talked with it near the beach at night. You don't say. We should totally try to capture it. It'd be a great addition to Moggy Lou's menagerie. Well, this is no light matter here in Salt. Local legend has it that when the end times come, a talking Pengyon will declare judgment upon the sinful. Everyone who's encountered this Pengyon has been bedridden from the sheer shock of it. Are you sure it's not just some demon? It doesn't appear to be, though it does seem to be quite aggressive. It goes after people, attacking them as it yells, I'm a medical student from Rize Maxia! What the fuck? Is that fuck? supposed to be its judgment or whatever? I have no idea, but whatever you do, you'd better not visit the beach at night. This is some kind of reverse psychology trick, right? 
Well, now you're gonna make me do it. So, great. Ugh, I can't sleep. I think I'm going to head down to the beach and check things out. I'm with you. Some things just can't be avoided. You're going to look for that talking penguin, aren't you? What makes you say that? We're just going on a walk. All right, well, let's go look for this penguin. Look, Velvet! There's a penguin! Think it might be the talking one? Hi. Do you wish to talk? Oh, good evening. Lovely weather, isn't it? It really Oh my talked. god! I can't believe it. What's so going on? Can talk? Huh? Wait, do you guys eat us penguins too? <sighs> Why does it matter? Please, answer my question. It's very important. I'm sorry, but yes, I eat them. And I'll happily devour most anything if I have to. Well then, I suppose you people are just like the others who came before. I can't let you keep doing that! Oh, and what's a cutesy little penguin like you plan on doing about us big bad humans? Are you gonna transform? Oh my god. What the fuck? Ah, he changed into a human! Bro! We're fucking fighting, dude! Okay! Sorry for deceiving you all. But I can't let you oh, hurt any this. more penguins. No I'm I give props for your determination to save penguins. You know, I I'm with you, Jude. But holy shit! I wasn't expecting to run into you. Wow. That's awesome. So, we're fighting Jude. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm a little quiet. I'm just like focusing a little bit, but god damn! I hope he does his mystic art. I want to see a mystic art. I might hold back a little bit if he if he can do it. He's getting pretty close though. He has a mystic art, right? Come on, man. I know you can do it. I think. I would think you can. Please. There it is. Final Fury, me boy. Boy. Yeah! I've never wanted to be beat up as hard as before. I can't even talk anymore. I knew it was going to be Final Fury. Excuse my bad talking when I was like, Final Fury me boy, except, except it was moy. There we go, Jude. Good fight. I turned back into a penguin. No matter. Wait, why are you so intent on fighting us when you're outnumbered? I have to protect my fellow penguins from the likes of poachers like you. Poachers? We're not poachers, I swear. We just came here to see a talking penguin. Really? But then why did you guys say you eat penguins? Sorry, I guess we should have explained more clearly. This one will eat anything. 
Yeah, sorry about that. And as for me, the only pinion I ever eat is what I buy properly at the market. We're not good people, but we're not those kinds of villains either. Oh. Well, in that case, I should apologize for jumping to conclusions and picking a fight. I just ran into some Pengyon poachers earlier, and I'm afraid I'm a little on edge right now. Those must be the other people who've spotted you here. They're all sick in bed just from the shock of meeting you. Small fries like them, I bet they'll think twice before they try to poach another animal. So, what are you then? Some special representative of Penyon kind? No, I'm Jude Mathis. I'm a medical student from Riza Maxia. A medical student from Riza Maxia? It's in a different world from yours. Actually, I'm a human just like you all, but... Somehow I was flung into this dimension, and when I came to, I looked like this. So, basically, you're a human from another world, but when you came here, it made you turn into a Pengyon? This story of yours, quite a tale. The whole thing's pretty hard to believe. It certainly is. However, when I was lost and confused, the Pengyons here were kind to me, and took me in as their own. I wanted to repay the favor to them since they've done so much for me. So you've been protecting them from any poachers who come? But, don't you have bigger things to worry about right now? Looks to me like you're too soft-hearted. I get that a lot. Well, we've heard your story. But even if it is true, it doesn't sound like there's anything we can do for you. Don't worry about me. I'll figure out how to get home on my own, one way or another. The problem is that a friend of mine got sent to this world with me, but I haven't been able to find her. My hunch is that she's also turned into a Pengyan. You haven't heard of any other talking Pengyans, have you? Can't say I have. Sorry. Oh, okay. What kind of person is this friend of yours? Maybe we'll run into her later. Her name is Mila. She has pretty red eyes and long golden hair. She carries herself with dignity and possesses a commanding presence. What else? Oh, and one of her quirks is that whenever she sees something tasty, she drools. That's an interesting quirk. You mean, she actually drools? Also, she's known as the Lord of Spirits, because she's accompanied by four summon spirits with command over the elements. Ooh, Lord of Spirits. How royal sounding. Got it. If we hear anything, we'll let you know. It may be hard, but try to keep your spirits up, Jude. Thank you all so much. I hope you guys get a lead on Mila. You care about her even more than yourself. Uh, well, how do I put it? She's just... a really special person to me, I guess. Fair enough. Good. 70,000 experience for that? Sure. Get 33 grade. Got mini Jude? Oh man. So now we need to go find Mila. <laughs> Thanks Sam Regal for coming back in this game. <laughs> I didn't dream that up, right? No, that Pengyon was very real. Or rather, it seems to actually be a human named Jude. He said he came from another world. No matter how much we see, life is still full of mysteries, isn't it? He's got guts, I'll give him that. It'd be nice if we could help him somehow. He's kind to Pengyons, too. If he was telling the truth, that would make him a castaway from another dimension. We seafarers always help out anyone who's adrift. Personally, I'm curious about this Mila girl, the Lord of Spirits. She might have a connection to the four Empyreans, or even Inominat himself. Seems unlikely, but I suppose anything's possible. Just in case, I'll keep everything Jude the Penyon told us in mind. Alright. So we need to go look around for... Oh, excuse me. 
for Mila. Ah, now I'm burping. Well, that was uh, interesting. I wasn't expecting to run into uh, Jude, who's a talking penguin. Sure, why not? So that's nice. So now we need to go look uh, look out for Mila at some point. Don't really know where she would be, but I'm gonna look. Maybe and she's uh, she's in a place that I've checked already, and I can look again. I don't know. We'll see. I may try and find her. I guess we're gonna need two sessions for a side quest, because this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I didn't think we'd still be doing like all these, like going to all these uh, notes and different people. So probably next session I'm going to have to um, do some more side quests before we actually head to the Imperian's throne. I hear there's one really passionate Lady Teresa fan in Helavis, but I'm not going to lose to a poser like him. Lady Teresa's true allure isn't in those frozen eyes. You can't say you understand her if that's all you see, but I do. Only I understand her true appeal. Do you want to know what it is? Um, well, I don't think I really care. Do you? Huh? Of course you do. Um, okay, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll tell you. Teresa's true allure is in that tinge of sadness hidden within her lovely face. Even when she's smiling, there's a touch of melancholy that never leaves her. It's like her heart is somewhere else, somewhere distant. So where is it? With her love, her true love, the true love she's yet to meet. How tragic. She suffers, lamenting the love she cannot find, yet doesn't realize that the very man she seeks is so near. That's why I watched over her so dearly, and then it happened. It was a day I'll never forget. What happened? She was off duty, frolicking in the waves by Maclear Beach. That alabaster skin, how pure she looked in her swimsuit. This guy is really, really creepy. Yeah, seriously creepy. Hey, what's with that cold look? I feel bad for Teresa. She had to protect creeps like this guy too. What cold, cold eyes you have. Velvet, Eleanor, quickly, avert your gaze! If you keep looking at him with disgust and disdain, you'll only stimulate this perverted freak! Come on, everyone. Let's go. No, come back! Please! Scorn me! Despise me! <sighs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Cool. Just a fucking freak. Alright, so... We'll let him pretend that Teresa is still alive. What if we just told all these fans that she's dead? <laughs> hey man. Talk to me. Haria village getting wiped out by demon blight. Really makes you think, doesn't it? Like if they had abandoned their faith in Nominoch and moved to Assault, they might have been saved. I'm glad they didn't come here. They deserved it. It's their punishment for heresy. How could you? No one deserves that fate. But didn't that priestess and her daughter turn first? That's what caused it to spread. But look at us here in Isolt. Not a single case of demon blight. That's the only possible explanation. They were crazy to resist the Abbey. Shame on you. Don't speak ill of the dead. No one wants to become a demon. I had a friend in Haria. She was a good person. Whether she believed in Amenoch or Inominat, she was a person just like us. Our islands were her home. Perhaps I have no right to say anything here, but please, don't ever lose that kind heart of yours. That's the best way you can honor the memory of Haria's people. I won't. I'll go there soon with an offering of flowers. Well, at least there's one good guy here. Fuck that lady. Alright, so... Got one thing down there, and then we also have the tavern. Guess we'll head over to the tavern next. So, I believe that's Magilu's Menagerie doing a thing. 
So let's see what that has for us. Who wishes to hire me? Someone there. Hi. We were hoping to put on a comedy routine. Any way you can fit us in? I can, but folks in Yisult are picky when it comes to comedy. You'd better know what you're doing. I love a good challenge. Wow, Rokuro. You actually feel like helping out? Believe it or not, I've always been interested in theater. I thought it would be good for building courage. I think you have enough courage already, but for now, I think we should set your sights low. I'll do most of the talking. You just respond to me and follow along. Okay, but if you start giving me some jabs, am I permitted to counterattack? As long as it's not with your sword. <laughs> That's not exactly reassuring. Let's get going, Makilu. We've got a show to do. Oh boy, I'm not sure about this one. Oh man, Rokuro. Hi there! We're Magilu and Rokuro, a wild rough and tumble pair! <laughs> Magic Kazam! The weather's so nice and salt, isn't it? Especially the sea breeze. Speaking of which... Sea breezes are bad for swords. If you don't keep them polished, the salt will rust them. Uh, <laughs> I suppose that's good advice for any sword enthusiasts out there. But anyway, doesn't the air make you want to eat seafood? Ah, sashimi, fresh boiled fish on the shore, seafood bowls. So many kinds look so delicious, but... And fillets, too. You can't forget those. It takes true mastery to be able to use a blade so finely. Every creature, not just fish, has delicious spots that make for perfect cuts if you know where to find them. Um, that's kind of gross, but okay. Some seafood that tastes good looks downright weird, you know? You've got octopuses, you've got swordfish, you've got... Swordfish! <laughs> now, if there's one fish out there I'd love to duel at least once, it's that one for sure. Um, you know there's not much I can do with these sudden wild tangents, right? No, 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 you see, I was just making a gag about how I'm a swordsman, so a swordfish would be like my rival, you get it? Oh, just shut up. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you've got octopuses, swordfish... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Some say the more bizarre looking the fish, the better its taste. Maybe it's true. I love pufferfish, and they're really weird, round-shaped... Speaking of round <laughs> I once met this wild-looking guy named Arma Dillon. I'd never seen anyone so round before or even since. Ah, I can't take it anymore! You're a nightmare to work with! Oh my god, that was great. That pretty funny? Yeah, well, I feel like our material could have been better. What's your take on it? I'll just say one thing. If nothing else, your partner was a convincing fool. I don't think he had to act much. You think so? No. You're just a free spirit nobody can hope to control. Your attention, please! I've tabulated the results and I've come to the conclusion that... You're all hopelessly unfunny! I'm sorry. I don't really care how it went. But when you put it that way, I get a little pissed off. Anyway, that's why I'll be teaming up with Bienfu to take on Modulu. Works for me! I'm ready when you are, Miss Mogulu. Which bit are you gonna do? Your specialty, Cat Emperor? Or the surefire automaton assault? Neither. We need brute force to win, so I'm going with Elysian Thunder. Which means that when things are at their peak, we're gonna hit the audience with lots of thunder, right? Right. Thunder in the form of relentless ad-libbing, as much as we can possibly handle. Okay! I'll scout out some local material we can use for our opening warm-up, too! Great! You do that! You two are really in sync. Couldn't you two just have teamed up from the start? It's almost like the whole thing was an elaborate joke just so she could have this punchline. <sighs> well, now with that settled, let's make our way to Logress and meet up with Modulu. <sighs> so it was all to uh, team up with uh, friggin' Bienfu. Cool. Great. Well, I'm gonna head over to Logress. And then we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> see if we can finally defeat Majalu. The greatest enemy in the game. Let's do this. Showtime, Majalu! Come out and face me! Preferably unprepared! Majalu isn't doing any shows right now. 
Hmm? Why not? Oh, did she get scared when she heard that Bienfu and I were teaming up? No. Majulu and her teacher had a big fight. From what I've heard, it sounds like she's run away from home. Uh, do you know what happened? <laughs> she just kept going on about how she wanted a break from practicing. So? She's young. She probably just wants to go out and have some fun. Preposterous! If she takes even one day off, it takes three to get her back in form! Even so, shouldn't you at least hear her out? All I've done is hear her out. She mentioned something about wanting to go to the Zamal Grotto, but I wouldn't have any... Did you say Zamal Grotto? That place is a nest of vicious demons! What? Hmm... Vicious demons, you say? If Majulu really went there, then victory could end up being mine by default! This isn't a joking matter! We have to go look for Majulu! Oh, my precious Lulu! Well, I guess we're gonna have to go look for her. So... Where is that? Have I been there? Oh, I have been there. Oh, she's like at the very beginning of Aldina Plain. Al Aldina Plains. If I can talk. Um... Let's go over to Mercio. And take care of everything there, and then we'll start hitting on those side quests. But I want I want to get these little things done first. So we have a thing there, and then two things in the sanctuary, and then we are good. We are gudo. Hey there. Kamawan has come down with a fever. What? I've been tending to her, but it just won't go away. She just keeps mumbling over and over about how she doesn't want to take her mom's medicine. Kamuana. We've heard her talk about her mom's medicine before, haven't we? I gather that it's something her mom used to make her take whenever she came down with a cold. It might be something specific. If there's any left, it would be back at her old house in Haria, right? Probably. I don't know if it'll work now that she's a Therian, but I'll go and try to find it. You'll do no such thing. I'm sorry, but the Abbey's still looking for you, and there's no way I'm about to hand you over. Don't try to stop me, Velvet. Look, we'll go to Haria. You stay here and take care of Kamoana. Eleanor. Velvet, if you try to fight Medissa, it won't end well. And I would back her up, too. Look, if we have time to argue about this, we have time to go find that medicine ourselves. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you. Eleanor, why are you going so far out of your way for Kamawana? After my mother was taken from me, I found myself an orphan of the Abbey. I grew up figuring that I'd probably become a nun and spend my life in mourning. But on the night of the advent, my inner resonance awakened. I honestly believed that I had been given the power to change the world for the better, you know? Less sorrow, less suffering. But even after I donned the mantle of the exorcists, I was still pathetic, full of ideals, but so ignorant of the way things really work. That ignorance is what drove me to go after Mahina and take her away from Kamoana. I can't change the past, but at the very least, I can atone. I'd do anything to give her a chance. Uh. All right, then. She's in your hands. We'll be as quick as we can. What? What was that I just felt? Lafayette? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just... I don't know how to explain it, but I sensed something, and it wasn't good. It's like something dark dug itself into my chest. Eleanor's the same as always, right, Rokuro? Nothing different? Yeah, same old fired-up Eleanor. At least, that's what she projects. Oh, that might not be good. If you're getting that feeling. 
Well, we're probably gonna head over to Haria. Yeah, I was kind of wondering, we didn't get like a... Like, throughout the game, we haven't gotten a single, like, Eleanor side quest. So, looks like we're finally getting one. So, we'll probably run over to Haria first, after we're done with this. Hello. Magilu's real name is Magilonica, isn't it? Yes, it is. She's always been so distant. Distant? What makes you say that? She's always had strong resonance and was able to see us Malakim from the day she was born. But her family thought her powers were creepy and they abandoned her while she was still just an infant. That's terrible. So she got picked up by that crooked troop that put her in their freak show. Yeah, that was when she caught me. When I got caught up in her life. It's hard to imagine how painful it must have been. A little girl forced to the stage, made a source of amusement and revulsion and hate. You can see why she'd want someone on her side, even if that someone was Bianfu. Hey! But she managed to get away, right? After the accident? Well, that accident was set up by Lord Melchior. What? Is it so hard to believe? Melchior was looking for someone he could shape into becoming his worthy successor, so he made sure she survived the wreck. He probably justified it as saving the world. Tell me, Grimoire. What's your connection with Melchior? I don't really have one. I knew the former head of the Exorcist a little, but I stayed out of his way. He never talked about personal matters. At least not while he was sober. As I recall, Magilu trained under Melchior, and rose as far up the ranks as Legget. That's right! She worked really, really hard to get there, too! Magilonica Lou Maven. When Melchior adopted her and gave her his last name, that was the first time she really felt that she had a home. When she lost that name, she was devastated. She failed Lord Melchior's last test, and he just discarded her like an unwanted toy! She was an empty shell of a person when Bienfu brought her to me. Magilu stayed with me for a little while, but then one day she left without warning. As for what happened next, well, you probably know better than I do. Yeah, I guess we do. I'd ask you to look after her, but I know how that would go. It'd have to be a pretty cold day in hell. I'm sorry I talked about your past behind your back. It wasn't my place to say. It doesn't bother me. You were talking about Magilonica, and Magilonica might as well be dead. But while we're on the subject, may I ask just one question? It wasn't failing to hold up against Melchior's art that broke your spirit, was it? It was when you realized that he no longer considered you his daughter. Who can say? I've left my life as Magilonica behind me. I'm not her anymore. I'm the evil witch Magilu who fights alongside the Lord of Calamity! Well, wherever you go, Miss Magilu, I'll follow you as long as I live! Well now, Bienfu, you think you can get away with talking about me behind my back? Huh? Why do you only care that I did it? What about the others? Yours is not to question. <laughs> how could I forget how mean you are? <laughs> I'm glad you finally found a place where you can belong. Oh, well, thanks for the variance. I'm really surprised that that's optional. I really feel like that should be... Like, mandatory to get. Still didn't get the thing, which kind of sucks. But yeah, that, that feels so important to Magilu's character. Like, we learned about her past even more. I guess if you, like, they gave us the necessary stuff, but if you really want to go hard, you can come and check this out. Which is fair. I kind of feel like it should be, like, sort of... Mandatory, though. But, oh well. So we got a variant, which is actually kind of fantastic. That is amazing. I really like that. <laughs> God, the variants in this game are really good, so far. And then we have something up here. If you your sins in a sanctuary, the Empyreans are supposed to forgive you or something, right? 
If I say something here, I wonder if Inomina will hear me. I don't think it works like that. Besides, I doubt this sanctuary was built on an Earth Pulse point. Yeah, you're probably right. Was there something you wanted to say to him? Yeah. I wanted to thank him for the comb, and also tell him what I'll be doing next. If I had to guess, I'd say that everything you want to say has already made it over to Luffy. Why do you think that? Because I got it loud and clear myself. Fee. Malakim turned people's prayers into blessings. What you pray here and now may or may not reach Inominat. But it will give Lafayette strength. All right. Then I'll pray for just one thing. Please, take care of... Oh, don't... Don't do that. All right. So that pretty much solves everything. I don't know why they took away all my side quests for some reason. But I am heading over to Haria anyway. So, oh, they're making me go there right now. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're on our way to Haria. Probably go there, go take care of that, and then I'll probably end off for tonight. So I guess we're going to be having more side quests in the next session. But we took care of almost everything. I'm pretty sure we took care of just about everything throughout the world. It was a very long session. Oh, there's something in Taliesin. No. God fucking damn it. I'm gonna have to go through everything again. Like, one more time to make sure. Um, I'm gonna do that right now real quick. Just to make sure. So that's fine. Port Zexen is fine. Reneed? Fine. Logras. Fine. Oops. Stonebury. Fine. Cadnex. Fine. Assault. There's something in assault. There's oh yeah, I forgot that thing in assault. So I have two things in assault that I need to get. Haria, we're going right now. Lionel Island, no. Okay. So, two things in Salt we need to take care of. We need to head to Haria. God, there's so many things. It was kind of weird that they waited, or I couldn't just teleport to Esalt, because I was wait. I wasn't saying anything during that part, because I was like, I'm guessing there's a scene while you're sailing. I was like, nah, not really. Well, I can go and get this while I'm here. It's a, oh, it's Morgren, 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 well, Morgren. I heard you woke the four Empyreans. I'm quite impressed. What do you want, Morgrim? I just came to pass on a little information to you. Specifically, that an Earth Pulse entrance has opened up. My guess is that it opened when you chased Innominat out. An Earth Pulse entrance, huh? We might be able to see more of the Earth in Historia. Indeed. If we could learn more about Artorius's past, it might give us a hint about how to take on Innominat. That's just what she wants us to think. Anyone else smell a trap? I don't think we have to worry about that. Are you sure? She could have loathed any form of trickery. If Morgrim was that kind of Moloch, he would have struck her down long ago. I appreciate your confidence in me. What you do with the information is up to you. Where is this entrance? It's at the Shrine of Tranquility, in a ball. You must have learned about this from the Abbey. Why pass it on to me? No special reason. I just happened to think of Lord Artorius's Molek. I thought it might be nice if I could help you learn a little more about her. 
You mean Ceres? All right. I'll check it out. Well, that's really interesting. So now we have another location we need to go to. <laughs> Morgrim, you're giving me more things to do. So thanks. Thanks for that. And then we have a thing down there, which I'm guessing is for Kamalana. Honestly, I might wait till next time to take care of that. If that's, that's probably going to be a big thing. Also, I don't even know where Mila is. I didn't see anything. I didn't check uh, Lohengrin. Nothing. Well, you know what? I'm going to go over there, see what this thing is, and then I'll decide if I'm going to keep going or not. There's just so many- there's so many things! I'm like so surprised at how many things there are. Cause I was like expecting I would be ending this session before the Empyrean's throne. Like getting ready for the final battle, but there's just a lot of things. Hey, if you were thinking of going this way, you should reconsider. And why is that? A real nasty demon's taken root up in Haria village. It's a huge troll with a big old club. And this isn't the first village the brood has taken out. Did you say... a troll? You didn't happen to hear if the troll was wearing a large jewel, did you? Yeah. I hear the greedy beast's been going around stealing all sorts of treasure. It's... that demon. Uh oh god. Alright. So, we need to deal with a troll. Great. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save that for next time. So next time... Where the fuck is the save point here, anyway? Did I pass it? I think it's in the next... ...location. So next time, I need to go to Haria. We're gonna head to Haria. Take care of the demon that's there. And then... Oh, excuse me. Take care of the demon that's there. We're going to head over to a ball and then take care of the Earth Pulse thing and maybe learn a little bit more about Celica there. And then we're going to head over to, um... God, what else was there? Um, the Grotto for Magilu's quest. And then we have Rokoro's quest, which is outside the Empyrean's throne, and we also have Zavid's quest to take care of. Oh my god! <laughs> There's so much stuff! So, man, I mean, we took care of all of the, like, little things this session. Like, we took care of, like, all the side conversations and everything. So I'm glad we took care of that. And we, uh, we took care of Laffy Set's side quest. Um, we fought Jude. So that was surprising. So we're basically just going to be wrapping up side quests in the next session that maybe we're going to end off in front of the Imperium's throne. I don't know. <sighs> These might be super long still. Um, I still want to find Mila, so I'm going to be looking for her. Um, I know I need to finish these expeditions. So maybe off screen I'll start going through those a lot quicker. I probably should have been doing that from the beginning, but I don't know. I felt bad about it, I guess. I don't know. So off screen, I will do that. And then what level are we now after all that stuff? 62? Yeah. Cool. God, that was a session. I mean, we finished Aizen side quest too, I believe. After dealing with Phoenix, which was the hardest goddamn fight. Um... Gonna have to be cutting stuff out for that fight. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, I guess next time we're gonna go and, um... Go to Haria and then take care of everything else. There's so much side quests. Goddamn, man. So, a lot of videos of side quests. Hope you, uh, don't mind. But I want to, I want to get all this recorded. I want to do it. So, 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.